G'day, uh, I'm Adam Kay. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Cotton Australia and uh, it's with great pleasure that um, we're making the 2016-17 annual report for Cotton Australia available online. It concentrates on our four key areas of work, which is our policy and advocacy work, our work on setting the direction of R&D, uh, stewardship and our community and capacity. In the advocacy area, I think one of the key pieces of work that we do is around water and, uh, and certainly this year it's been as busy as ever and, and in that water space we do muscle up with the various Irrigators Council, National Irrigators Council, New South Wales Irrigators Council and the Valley Water Groups and Food and Fibre Groups and I think together we've made some great advances. There's been the work uh, on the More Than Flow campaign to really try and influence the uh, final outcome of the Murray-Darling Basin Plan. Uh, there's been uh, the work on local management arrangements up in Queensland uh, for the various uh, uh, sun water irrigation schemes. We've been uh, fighting, uh, obviously, the, the rampant price rises in electricity and, uh, and we're really keeping them uh, on their toes and uh, yeah, it's an area of further work. We're making sure that uh, we keep the push on for the matching dollars for the R&D funds, those matching government dollars, which it's never in the, in the uh, public arena, but there's always under threat. The, the other key area that we do work in is uh, setting research direction, and uh, our regional managers have been very active out there running workshops with all the cotton grower associations on their research priorities. That's fed into the general meeting and strategy forum, and that provides real guidance to the CRDC on the spend of those grower research dollars. In the stewardship area, another very important pillar of the work that we do, the TIMS committee has been very active, be it around crop management plans and, and weed resistance management, the insecticide resistance management strategy, and just the resistance management plan for Bolgard and, uh, is, is critical because we really want to maintain these technologies for the long term. Our community and capacity pillar, um, really we make some big investments in, uh, in leadership development in our industry, trying to bring people through. And that's through the Future Cotton Leaders Program, through the Nuffield Scholarships, the Australian Rural Leadership Program, uh, the Peter Cullen Trust, and also the uh, CRC Legacy Fund is funding lots of scholarships for uh, university students and, and giving them a taste for our industry. Our Cotton to Market Program, while it's promoting Australian cotton, um, it's been really important having major Australian brands and retailers come on board and get that Australian cotton message out there to the general public so that they value what uh, our growers are doing in Australia. I just want to thank all the growers that pay their Cotton Australia levy and support our organisation. Uh, below this story you'll see a link that you can click on and that will take you to the annual report. So uh, yeah, remember that there is going to be a copy posted out to you but if you want to have a, uh, an early snapshot uh, it is available online.